Hello, I am Dr. John Eakins from University College Cork and lead researcher on the EPA and SCI funded project, Residential Solid Fuel Use in Ireland and a Transition Away from Solid Fuels. The Environmental Protection Agency has highlighted air quality issues in urban centres in Ireland in recent years. Emissions of fine particulate matter attributable to the burning of solid fuels are a particular cause of concern. The complexity of the residential solid fuel sector due to the heterogeneity of fuels being used and the lack of reliable and periodic data sources hampers the task of developing effective policy solutions. The objective of this project was to develop a deeper understanding of the residential solid fuel market in Ireland. We used existing data sets on household solid fuel use and developed new data sets to update and broaden our knowledge of solid fuel use in the residential sector. Our research highlights the heterogeneous nature of solid fuel use with differences observed among solid fuel users depending on the type of solid fuels used but more particularly on whether they are used as a primary source of space heating or to supplement other non-solid fuel sources of space heating. These differences may be important for the design of policy interventions, especially in targeting financial supports for transitioning away from solid fuel use. The analysis of a new survey of residential solid fuel users has provided new findings. These include an understanding of the contribution that supplementary solid fuel use makes in overall solid fuel consumption and a quantification of the non-traded solid fuel sector, that is purchases made through informal markets, our own production and use of harvested fuels. The research has highlighted the significance of the non-traded solid fuel market, particularly peat and wood consumption, and for households in rural areas and consideration should be given to the potential for substitution to alternatives in this market with any new policy interventions. A periodic survey of a representative sample of households going forward, similar to that undertaken in this project, would be beneficial in capturing trends in residential solid fuel use. A periodic survey would also provide a baseline against which progress in relation to policies implemented could be measured and tracked. In tandem with policy incentives, education and awareness campaigns can play an important role in encouraging a transition away from solid fuel use, especially with regard to the financial, environmental and health impacts of using solid fuels. To find out more about the project and its findings, please visit the project website.